Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of bi weekly contest 80. Uh, it's the third problem, and the problem name is matching substring after replacement. Uh, so the problem says that we are given two string S and sub, and we are also given a 2D character array mappings where mappings of i equals to old i, comma new j, new i, uh, which indicates that we may replace any number of old characters, old of ith characters of the second string that is sub with new and each character in sub cannot be replaced more than once so we need to return true if it is possible to make sub a substring of s by replacing zero or more characters according to mappings otherwise we return false uh, a substring is a continuous non-empty sequence of characters within a string so let's look into the example so this is the given string s and we have a sub we have the second string sub as l double t and these are the mappings which says that we can replace e with 3 t with 7 uh, or t with 8 so these are the three possible mappings so uh, whether whether it is possible to replace the characters of uh, using these mappings uh, and convert it into a string which is a substring of this or not so if we look into this substring l3 e7 then we can see that l double et can be transformed into l3 e7 by converting e into 3 so it becomes l3 e is already already there and then we can convert t into 7 so it becomes l3 e7 which is a substring of uh, s so we re return true in this case uh, if we look into the second example so it says that we can replace o with 0 uh, now we can see that we cannot replace any of that in sub so this is the final sub and this is not a substring of the given string so we return false and similarly for the third case uh, so it says that we can replace first and second e um, uh, this says that this and this so replace first and second e in sub with 3 because e can be replaced with 3 so it becomes l double l 3 3 and we we can replace d with b so it becomes l 3 3 t b so here we can see this is a substring so we return true now let's look into the constraints so the length of the strings can go up to 5000 mappings can go up to 1000 and some basic stuff uh, the point to note here is that we can have multiple mappings for the same character that means here we can see t maps to 7 and t also maps to 8 right so we need to take care of this one so though it's mentioned it's a hard problem but <laughs> sorry it can be solved using i would say a brute force approach with some tweaks uh, uh, the reason being that the constraints are 5000 so even both these strings are in the range of 5000 uh, we will have to probably check that only once so even in worst case if it goes to n square so that will be sort of 10 raised to the power 7 only and which can easily pass into uh, within the given time constraint so uh, you can see it's a small code uh, we, we have taken a map uh, with character as key and set as value the reason being as we saw that each character can have multiple mappings so we keep a set uh, uh, and now we, we populate this map uh, we put a set if it, that is absent and else we we, we keep on adding uh, the values in that particular set now we start traversing the array so here we can see now how many times do we need to traverse what are the indices that we need to consider so s dot length that means the the, the bigger string minus the sub length because we'll be using sort of a uh, sliding window technique right because uh, if, if you see uh, let me try to explain you uh, like suppose my whiteboard is will take time to open uh, so I'll, I'll try to explain it here like suppose we have a string one the indices are 1 2 3 up till n right and uh, if we have the second string sub which uh, which basically is of length suppose 1 2 3 then <coughs> sorry then uh, what are the possibilities of this these these three characters can lie here right can lie here 2 to 4 can lie here 3 to 5 or i would say can lie here which is n minus 1 n minus 2 all right 
these this is the last possibility so that means what is the last possibility it will it will just go up to the uh, because the length of the second string is 3 so we need to consider the index so that the last substring is also of length 3 so that is why s dollar length minus sub of length uh, we take a variable whether we have found the result or not as true and then we start reversing it so j equals to i because we are starting it from i and k here is basically the index used to traverse the second string we check whether the current characters are equal or not if that is not equal and uh, the, the character the the particular character present in the substring is not present in the map as well and if it is present it is not uh, it, it is not equal to that so here it says that whether it, it contains that particular key or not and if it contains then whether that is equal to the uh, character present in the original string or not that means in s or not uh, if that is not true then we uh, convert the variable into false that no this this string cannot be a valid string right so let's try to test some other substrings so we return false, uh, sorry, we, we make it false and then break the loop because no need to test this particular substring, right? And uh, we see that if, if we have found the result, we return true and at last we return false because if the result would have been true, we would have returned it within this loop only. So uh, a, a basic implementation based question, I would say, uh, where the only thing uh, to do was that we need to break the loop as soon as we found a mismatch. And the second thing is that we have taken a set or we would have taken a map so that we can find it in one time that whether we have a particular mapping present or not so yeah this 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 is the solution um, obviously the worst case time complexity can go up to a big o of n into m um, so yeah that's the time complexity no extra the only extra space taken here is for this map that we are uh, constructing uh, and yeah that's it uh, probably hope you learned something new from this video do support this video by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, keep I'll, I'll keep you posted uh, for the for the latest contest happening on lead code and take care bye bye